YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and I'm joined here today. What's up, guys? Javi here, and you know, a few days ago we hit seventy thousand subscribers, and this is like a big yeah. milestone, a huge, huge milestone for you. Not hundred K yet, no, but it is a huge milestone. It's crazy because I started the channel back in two thousand nine. Like and I made my first little montage. It's no longer on YouTube because it's copyrighted music. Because <laughs> back then you didn't give a fuck. Like, I could yeah. put everything I want. Yeah, you're this like shocked amazing. when you got a copyright. You're like, what the? F like what? what? <laughs> I can't just use any song I want to <laughs> use. Like, what is this? Yeah. I'm trying to share this with my friends. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a long time ago, man. I didn't really do anything in 2009. It was December 2009 when I ch started the channel. I made one video, and then a year later, I made my second video. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally a year later, I was like, okay, video yeah. number two for 2010. And for you guys that don't know, you know, he was an editor. He would edit clips. He would do his little magic and, like, make some of the craziest, uh, I guess, call, was it just Call of Duty? I did. Mm -hmm. I started doing Halo oh, montages. Okay, I remember. Okay. Yeah, I started with Halo montages, then I started doing Call of Duty ones. And they were so bad. Like they were so so <laughs> like, bad. They're amazing. Yeah, like they were so terrible. Where like I would tell people like, yeah, check out my montage, and they would watch it, and then there would be that awkward silence afterwards. So it's like think? they're all happy. Like, so was it good? Did you like it? Yeah, bro. It was. It was pretty it was good. Like <laughs> in their head, never, yeah, never. <laughs> never make montage. Yeah, it was just like, yeah, bro, you're. So much potential, blah blah blah, <laughs> like all this bullshit. Can you share this with your friends? Yeah, like, <laughs> yes, I'll share it with everyone. <laughs> and then but, you're like, call them, dude. There's only two views. I know you yeah, haven't shared yeah. it. <laughs> you haven't even seen it, you motherfucker. <laughs> no, I, I was always one one of those. I didn't like. I didn't really like telling other people because, because no, yeah. I mean, I would tell my family and stuff to check it out, but like I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't share it on Facebook and that because I know people don't give a fuck. Like yeah. that's the last one. Of, I mean, that's I guess that's a fault because some people will just keep promoting, promoting themselves. I mean, and, yeah, I mean that, that's just how people are. I mean, some people are. I mean, it's not necessarily that's a bad thing. Yeah. It's just that some people have more, I guess, like the balls or I don't know what you. Yeah, would call I don't it. have I don't have the ego for yeah. it. Yeah. I don't like I. My, in, my, in your head, everything you do is crap. <laughs> yeah, it, it really, like, I, I see every single little flaw in every little project I do. Like, I know it's not perfect. And I, I'm, all, I'm just always been a person who I understand my limits. Right. But, like, that also holds me back because I don't believe I'm limitless. Yeah. You know, like I don't believe I'm unlimited. Yeah. I understand where my limits are. Or you, uh, you think you do, and you don't want to push your limits to try to yeah. find yeah. so much. Like I like I push my limits, but progressively. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think I can just jump from A to B. Like yeah. I, I, I kind of like I grind everything out, um, and that that just shows on my YouTube channel. Just, just that because like I, I knew I wasn't a good editor, but I wanted to get good. Like I wanted to be real good. And I'm not gonna say I got real good, but I definitely improved a lot, yeah. and, I, and I definitely started getting attention as a Call of Duty editor. I'm like, in those times, like back in 2011 or so, like 2012, even, like I was growing, and people knew, of, like, knew my edits. You know what I mean? Like it was, like, <laughs> yeah, like they were like, okay, yeah, yeah, he's a good editor, you know. And it, it was, those were fun times and cool times, but. I don't know, I had like 200 subs, five, <laughs> 500, like I remember just getting like 100 subs and I was just like, fuck yeah, <laughs> like, I am the greatest on earth, earth. I'm gonna keep growing 150 subs, baby, like, <laughs> two like, weeks later, yeah, like, yeah, like it would take forever to get a sub, and like, it, it was so bad where I would literally know when I when I got a sub, I was like, cause I'll be like at 126, and I'd be like, oh, 127, no, let's shit. go, yeah, <laughs> Every sub is a victory. It really is. Still now. <laughs> yeah, even now it is, but even just, but back like, then it oh was... Oh, God, why are you guys subscribing so yeah, much? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, back then I would put out a video. When I was really... When I really did start making videos, like, in 2011, because, like I said, I made the channel 2009, but I didn't do shit for 2009. I didn't do shit for 2010. At the end of 2011, I started making videos, and I would put out, like, one edit a month maybe two 
or something because it takes a long time to edit like a montage. Not just that, just getting the clips as well. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I would, yeah, it's I would get, get them from yeah. people, but still, I mean, yeah. they, like if you would try to do it for a specific person, it would take them a while to get the clips they want. Yeah. And yeah. You would have to get the, you would have to look at the clips, look over them, see what song you would have to use. Yep. And then again, mm-hmm. like, find a way, like find how you're like how you're gonna make the music work with the <laughs> with, with the edit and yeah. all. You know what's funny? I think about now because when I first started editing, like no nobody would give me a chance. Like I was just like I would tell people like, hey, you know, I I would show them like I had done like one or two montages. Just like, dude, I know it's not great, but I'm I'm gonna keep getting better. Like if you see mm-hmm. the improvement. Oh yeah, bro. Yeah, no, no. I'll I'll hit you. you I'll, yeah, I'll get when I get clips. I'll hit you up. Blah blah blah. Cause I'm wow. ne- I'm, I've never <laughs> been a great player or anything like that. I've just been an average player. Right. Um. So I asked people to, who who could really snipe and stuff to give me clips, and like nothing. They wouldn't give me the time of day. The people who did give me the time of day was like my cousin and my friend. And then I edited their montage, and I kept getting better and better and better. And then it got to a point where people were asking me like, "Bro, please edit for me." Blah blah blah, and I'm like, you're the same nigga. <laughs> <who I had." laughs> like, you're like, get the fuck. So, in your head, you were saying that, like, yeah, yeah bro, I'll, uh, make you a, I'll make you an edit. Fuck that five shit. Later. No, because like, I'm gonna tell you this straight up, and it is real shit. Like, I I think I could and see, like I said, like I understand my limits. I like I don't let I want to let my ego go beyond me or anything like that. But I do know I got good to the point where if I wanted to, I could have been in a big clan. Like, I don't know if I could have made it to, like, Optic or, like, FaZe as an editor. I think I could. I think my edits were as good as their editors, like, <laughs> if not better. But, like, it, it became a thing where I was like, fuck all these guys. Like, I was just going to help my people. Like, my cousins, my friends. The people who let me. Yeah, who let me edit, in the, edit for them in the first place. And, like, while the same thing for them, like, they got better and better. They weren't the best snipers in the world. They were really good, but they weren't, like phase or they weren't they weren't weren't even applying for phase yeah they knew they knew their limits too yeah they knew their i mean i I know some of them could have got that good if they would have kept going but it's one of those things where it's like it's a good thing you didn't keep going because all that shit fell apart anyway (laughs) like (laughs) but i'm just saying like in in my head like people started asking me to edit for them like they would pay me money they're like oh i'll pay you a hundred bucks i felt like this is not even worth my time i don't give (laughs) i was straight up just like i don't give a fuck like Cause they would tell me like you shouldn't edit for those people. They suck. They're just holding you down. Like I would literally get these messages from people, and I'd be like, "Fuck you!" Like <laughs> for real, don't talk about my people that way. Like fuck all you <laughs> niggas. Like for real. But anyways, what ended up happening? Back to the whole seventy k thing. You know. Well, I'm just kind of telling you the story of the channel. I mean, this is part of the. So what ends up happening is that I was running the channel by myself. It's always it was my channel. And uh, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I really, I love the stories. And back then, that was when I first dis- discovered, like, game movies. Because there was Gears of War, and I really liked Gears of War 1, but I, I didn't buy Part 2. Like, I didn't play the campaign. I just wanted to see what happened. So I, I looked up on YouTube if somebody had the story, and, like, I found little cutscenes. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, that's that's awesome, like you know. And then, but back then it was like 15 minute, only 50, like the longest. Right, you yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> so you have to watch like 10 parts, you know, to watch the whole thing. To watch like part one of, the, yeah. of like mission one, 10 parts. Yeah. <laughs> so when when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do one of these, and I did a whole game movie thing, and I edited, like I edited it just the same way we edit it now, like because I was like, you know what, I don't want to show all the gameplay; that would be boring. I'll just yeah. show like cool parts. And it, it did really good, especially for back then for me. Like, I look at it now and it's kind of like, oh, 10,000, 20,000 views. Right. I had like nine parts and each one of them got like twenty to 30,000 views. And uh, to me, it was like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> and so, like, it, I thought it was just a cool thing. And I got a bunch of subs. I probably went up to like 500 subs. And, like, people, because it, those videos drove traffic, then uh, people would watch some of my other videos. And so I started getting people who like my edits even more. But same thing, like, we kept editing. Nothing really happened. The whole YouTube Call of Duty scene fell yeah, apart. The, the Halo the Halo monster scene fell apart way before that. Just to say, like, I would have kept doing Halo, but the whole Halo monster scene just completely dismantled, like, in 2000. 10 2011 when halo reach came out nobody wanted to see that shit no more they're bored of it tired of it all that nobody liked reach 
Same thing. So what happened when Halo 4 came out? So th this is a turning point for me. When Halo 4 came out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do another game movie. I love Halo and like the story so awesome. I did the game movie. The first day it got like 40 views or something like that. And like for some reason, dude, and sometimes you can't explain these things. <laughs> I don't understand why it happened. I literally don't understand why this happened. But the video absolutely fucking blew up. Like right. I, at one point it was getting like 25,000 views a day. You know, and it, it was funny because that was when I first got partnered, like, right after that, I got that video, and, like, I was just done with YouTube. I was done. I had moved to Oakland. I live, I'm from L.A. I moved to Oakland, and I literally gave my channel away to some, partnered and with the Halo 4 video on it. <laughs> I gave it away to one of my buddies, Lava Bros, who was also a Call of Duty editor. And he was gonna make it like a community channel and get other editors. We're gonna make it like an editor's channel. I he literally had the password, everything. It was his channel. <laughs> like it was no longer my channel. It was his channel. And he did it for like a month or two, but then he quit editing too. And he was like, you know what, bro? Like, you know, this is your channel. Uh, you, you just have it back. Like, I'll give you the password back, and you can switch it back. Just. Like, even if you're not going to use it, I, I think you should have it. At that right. time, it had, like, a thousand, so like, 1,500 subscribers or something. Because of the Halo 4 video, was starting right. to blow up. I was like, sure, I'll take it back. I hired this kid, Fresh, um, to, to run my channel. And, like, so he, he contacted other editors. And he kept doing the editing thing. He contacted other editors, like, Call of Duty edits. And he would post the videos on our channel. And he kept it running for, like, two, three months. I paid him... Every month, I paid him like a hundred bucks or something like that, and he ran the channel for me while I was out in Oakland working. I left Oakland for reasons. That's a whole other video. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like there's shit went down in Oakland. If you motherfuckers don't know about Oakland, Oakland's probably one of like the ten most dangerous places <laughs> in the United States, if not on Earth. Like East Oakland is some shit. Like. You know, like, not like the L.A. is a nice little playground, you know, <laughs> but, like, East Oakland is some crazy ass shit. Anyways, I came back, and I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to start doing some more of these game movies and see what happens. And then that was just, that's 2013, and then, like, the videos just started taking off, taking off, taking off. From 2009 to 2013, in a four-year span, I probably had about 3,000 subscribers, like, by, you know, like, yeah. at the most. Since 2013 to 2014, we now have 70,000 subscribers. Crazy. The growth, bro. <laughs> the growth. It's just crazy to see. It's like, it's amazing to see. It's like, it, like really, like, YouTube to, for me right now is a career. Like, I do it for a living. That's what we do. This GOP headquarters right here. We have <laughs> computers, consoles, PCs. Astro headsets, <laughs> Scuffs, you Scuffs. don't have one yet. Yeah, you, you still, wish you had one. He's gonna buy me a company GLP one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, <laughs> what the fuck? No, but I mean, it's grown so much. I'm self aware. Like I said, I understand my limits. Look, YouTube is not forever. I know that, and mm -hmm. I understand that. Like, and I, what I, what I'm trying to accomplish is get it big enough where I can make it a platform to make something even bigger like to use that as a platform to go even higher right. you know and if youtube doesn't work out for me who cares like i'll i'll go back to work you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i have my diploma i've graduated from uc berkeley you know obviously i graduated high school as i graduated from college <laughs> what? like i have my like i can go back to work whenever the fuck I need to, but I think it's just like wanted a once. A, you wanted to, you wanted to kind of not necessarily ride this out, but you yeah. wanted to take this to the next level, kind of. Yeah, the, my, and you exactly. Knew that doing it with, you know, you wouldn't be able to handle doing it mm -hmm. with another job full time. No, nah, there's no way. Like, I mean, so some people can do it, but mm -hmm. it's just like you should just go 100 percent on whatever you do. And that, that's just like my message to everybody is to say this. Look, I only have 70,000 subs, but I'm going to say I make enough money to, to live like pretty decently. Not great, but pretty decently. Javi works with me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Javi Havy here, he plays a lot of the games. He edits some of the I videos. So, like, he, he makes some, he makes a little side, side money, too, mm -hmm. for himself. You know, like, and it's one of those things where it's like, look, dude, I, I know it's not forever, 
but it's an opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity because YouTube is it's it's a brand new thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's it seems old now, but yeah. it's still like in the grand context yeah. of it, it's a brand new as thing. A, as a as a like as a job, <laughs> like it's like what? Like, yeah, it's like what? Oh my god! All these people actually. Do that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know what they if they do anything on their like you know on their side, but it, it's from what it seems is like a lot of the, especially the you know the people that are at the top, they're like. YouTube, it's, it's no, YouTube. no, for dude, hundred percent, all of them, hundred. That's that's their job. Yeah. Like, all you can name all of them. I just seen PewDiePie, Total Biscuit, Boogie, like all those. That's a hundred percent what they do is YouTube, because that's that's what life is. Life is. I'm an older guy. Look, I I know life is a fucking risk, and sometimes you gotta risk it. Like, mm -hmm. I this might crash and burn for me. And then I might find myself in my late twenties, and just like without a job, and ha in the past couple of years, I wasted, quote unquote, wasted my time on YouTube. <laughs> but the the key is, I know that, I understand that, and I I'm taking that risk. I I understand that risk, and I think for anybody else who wants to make it on YouTube, it's not easy. <laughs> it's it's it definitely isn't easy. You got to promote I mean, yourself. It's all about promoting, right? Promoting. I mean, you have to like. If you get the opportunity, like that, basically luck kind of thing, where it's just like yeah. by the hand of God just pulls you out and you like start going up, you know? Yeah. And it's like, and actually, I've told people that too, because like I said, my whole channel is built on the Halo 4 game movie. That video now has about 6 million views, which is a lot. And like, if you literally type in Halo 4 on YouTube, that's the first thing that will come up is that video. If you type in Halo on YouTube, the first <laughs> video that comes up is our Halo movie, quote unquote movie. You know what I mean? Like, but you create your own luck. Why do I say that? Well, at that point, I had built up my channel for the past two, three years um, with like edits and stuff. So I had like a thousand some subscribers at that time. If I wouldn't have had those subscribers who initially looked at the video and liked it and commented, then I don't think that video would have ever blown up. There's plenty of Halo 4 game movies out mm -hmm. there. There's I, I've seen myself probably like 12 at least with, <laughs> that has a lot of views on it. Some of them have 300,000. Some of them have 100,000. Mine's, ours has almost 6 million. And it just happened to take off. Yeah, and so like it was luck, but we created that luck by having yeah. those subscribers. Yeah, you I know? mean, saying luck, I didn't want to say luck just because that's like... Like it's, it makes it seem like it's easy. Like it's yeah, not, it's not necessarily. I mean, it's fun. It's it is. You know, it's about finding the opportunity. Like looking at the opportunity and just like running with it. Like yeah. taking it. I mean, that is what luck is. But it, it, it luck makes it. The word luck makes it seem like oh, you just you were doing shit and you just you know. It's <laughs> just so fucking happened. Yeah. Yeah. Like well. Yeah. No. No. I mean, and I'm saying too because. It makes it sound easy, but it also makes it sound impossible on the other end. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, it's just yeah. like, oh, so I just got to get lucky, and then... Yeah, that is, that is <laughs> You're true. like, you know, so it's one this of those... This guy did no work, and that's yeah. yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying is, like, that's that's a mantra to live by to me. It's just, like, it's always, like, you got to create your own luck. You, you do got to get lucky at some point, but you got to put yourself in the position to get lucky. Which yeah, because unfortunately, there's so many people that it's like the only way to come out really is luck. Like, yeah. It's like that's that's the, I mean, honestly, that's all it is. The, the what is it? The probability of you getting that is very low. So if yeah. you get it, fucking run with it. Yeah, run with it and build on it, because otherwise, you you because that's the thing. A lot of people get lucky. They'll get a a video that takes off or something like that, and then they won't do anything about it. And then I saw you'll look at their channels and they'll have that one 30 million view video. And then the rest of their channel is just nothing. It's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, of course, we can apply it to many things in life. But I'm just saying specifically for YouTube. But anyways, just to kind of finish off that story, just about how we came about YouTube. Um, around March this year, I it got big to the point where like I couldn't do it by myself anymore. I had other people who helped me out, um, but some of them didn't want to keep doing it. Some of them abandoned me. Some of them, you know, it just depends on their situation. Some of them just didn't, couldn't, couldn't, you know, commit to it. Um, so I 
Javi yeah. jumped on board. So it happened that during the time, I mean, it just happened that I needed the money. I, did, I had a part-time job that I was doing. I was trying to go to school at the same time. But uh, I had I had not gone for a semester. I was looking for a job, but wasn't getting any luck. And then he was like, you want to come help me? I was like, um, you want to pay me to play games? <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. No! Like, <laughs> How first, dare no, you offer me to play games for money? I'm leaving. <laughs> but at first, I, I was like... I don't know if I should do it. I mean, I mean, not that I didn't want the money. It was just that I wanted a more secure thing because I mean, I knew how YouTube worked. I knew it was, you know, it wasn't a for sure thing. If, if yeah. it, it would be depending on if my videos took off or whatever. And you know, I was like, let me see, because you know, and then whatever. And then it happened to be that you know, it ended up working out perfectly. I mean, I ended yeah. up being like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll help. I'll be able to help you for whatever. Especially right now, I'm not in school right now, so I'll just. Uh, you know, oh, I wasn't in school, so I was just like, all right, let me just see if I can help you. I mean, I'm going back, going back full time, so it's gonna be a lot harder to help. But I mean, if I can, I mean, I'm gonna be coming back yeah. every once in a while and helping him out. I'm probably still gonna be doing the podcast with him if he wants. There's with glasses, baby. <laughs> no, yeah, I did. I mean, definitely. I, I think without Javi, would would never have grown as much as we had the past couple. Like, like I said. When when Javi came on to help me, we're at thirty five thousand subs. We've doubled, <laughs> since doubled then. since then. I and like, the and like oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! So it took four years. <laughs> it took four years to get to thirty five thousand subs. It took four months to double that. <laughs> but that's just the nature of YouTube so too. That was, that was, I was a secret ingredient. Yeah. Which is, to be honest, it wasn't. It was yeah. just your kind. Your channel was already growing. I mean, it probably would have gotten higher anyways. It would have you know been maybe not as much. But yeah. it would have definitely grown. Yeah, no, it would it would have definitely grown, but it, I, without your help, it wouldn't have yeah. grown as much for sure. Because we've been putting in work, we've been <laughs> we've been putting in grind time. But like I said, it's not hard work, but it's tedious yeah. sometimes. But we we love the games, and like we did all the the podcasts have been fun, the commentaries, the game nights, Thank all that stuff. Know. Like all that stuff is has been a lot of fun to us. But seventy k, that's. That's not the end finish line. <laughs> Hopefully, Why? I, thought, I thought we were retiring after this. I'm, I'm looking for that. I'm gunning for the hundred k. Please, Lord, don't shut my channel down <laughs> before hundred k. I know I'm a I'm a thin thread at all time. Everybody on YouTube is just on a tiny thread. They're fucking they tightrope walking on a thin thread. The three sisters. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah, sisters. the three sisters of fate are ready to cut your fucking thread, <laughs> no matter who you are, even if you're fucking PewDiePie. <laughs> like, that's what, like, I, dude, I know that. So hopefully we can get to 100k, and hopefully after that we'll get to a million. You get a plaque at 100k, right? Yeah, at 100k you get a silver play button. So are we like sharing that? Do I take it? No, away? that's my oh, okay. my silver play button. <laughs> my silver play button, baby. <laughs> but I'm, uh, I want that gold. I want that gold for uh, the, the million subscribers. They should do like a platinum one for like 10 million. Like only, I think only like PewDiePie and like I Smosh. I think a couple people have, yeah. The Smosh, I think, I think Ray so. William Johnson maybe? I think Epic Rap Idols have it too. I think they just passed like 10. They yeah. Recently, they've blown up like even more recently because yeah. those trailers on YouTube help, dude. Yeah. And right. we'll definitely, definitely do a 100K giveaway. We weren't, some people asked us if we're going to do 70K. It's like, nah. It's, it's a big number, but we're not going to be doing like every 10,000, every yeah. thousand. I mean, it's really like, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, for me, it fucking, I can say whatever and it's not going to happen, but it's all up to Mike when he feels that, you know, because yeah. he has the milestones already in his head where, yeah. like, where they're going to hit. So it really depends on, like, I, I, like he said, the next one's going to be 100K. 100K, which if we continue at our pace, we'll hit by the end of the year. Hopefully our pace will get even faster. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But... We're, we're gonna do a huge giveaway. We'll do Are like. Are we doing one before that? Yeah, we'll do a Destiny giveaway okay, for yeah, sure too. So. We'll definitely give away. I was thinking of giving away maybe even like two or three copies of Destiny. Yeah, maybe we, we, you were thinking originally one Ghost Edition. Yeah, but they're but uh, unfortunately they're, the pre-orders didn't. There was too many pre-orders. So yeah, like, we can't even get them anymore. Yeah. But we'll definitely do a Destiny giveaway. I'm definitely gonna do a Halo Master Chief Collection giveaway. Yeah. Like 100 percent, 100 percent. He's handing it straight to me. Yeah, I'm just handing right. it over to Javi. That's the giveaway. No, <laughs> we'll definitely do some of those. But when we hit 100k, I want to do a big one. So I always want to give back to you guys, like, cause you know, 
the the money remember, that we get, we get because of you guys. Yeah, so I remember like, you, when you gave away that HD PVR. Yeah, oh, that was back that in was the day, back. dude. That was like when I was at 500 subs yeah. giveaway. Yeah, that was that was awesome. <laughs> that All was right, like, and that was one of the things you use, and you're like, you're yeah. like, I like this. I'll give someone else an opportunity to like. Yeah, I had no, cause I got that PVR for cheap, and then I already had my own recorder, so right, I was just yeah, exactly. like, so I just gave it away. And it was good. The guy was really the guy's. He he became a subscriber, like, cause it's not like he wasn't a subscriber, but that he he was actually somebody who lived close to me. You know what uh, I mean? Like, so he actually came to pick it up. He was like a L.A. dude. 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 Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. So I, no, that was actually really good. And then, um, but yeah, we're gonna do a Destiny giveaway. We're gonna do a Halo Master Chief collection do you have giveaway. Have an idea of what you want but, for the hundred K giveaway? But yeah, for the hundred K, I definitely want to give away a console. I don't know which one. Um, you guys don't have to tell me yet because it's still far away. <laughs> but I, either either Xbox One or a PS4. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna be. We're gonna give you a PS2. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All we're getting. We Unless need a you want a PS2, in which case we'll find one for you. No, if you're a real <laughs> if you're a real G, you're gonna want a GameCube with a Smash Brothers copy. <laughs> dude, those are those are worth more than like, <laughs> dude, like if I offered you a choice and I was like, "Do you want an Xbox one or a GameCube with Smash Brothers?" Does it have the controller? Yeah, yes. GameCube. GameCube. <laughs> GameCube all day every day. Does okay. Xbox one has what games? PS4 has what games? No, nah, I'm good. Smash Brothers all day. <laughs> <laughs> I would, dude. I literally oh, yeah. would. I would play Smash Brothers o over any Xbox one or PS4 game right now. Any any game right now. Yeah, not that it's necessarily better in the sense like story and everything. It's just a more fun, it's fun. game. It's like more fun. It's more fun than Rise. It's more fun than Last Infamous. It's more fun of <laughs> dude. Smash Brothers is more fun than all of those. I mean, obviously when Halo comes out, it's a different story. <laughs> like to you, yeah, to everybody. When Pokemon yeah. comes out, that's when I'm gonna be. <laughs> Mike, I'm gonna take a week break. I'll be back. <laughs> Shit, you'll be gone by then, <laughs> yeah. bastard. All right, this commentary has gone way too long, but whatever. We're just gonna post it like that anyway because we're just rambling on about 70k because we're so excited. Yes. So we'll see you guys the next. next 100k. We're gonna, we probably we're gonna do these every. I mean, every we're not gonna give away. K. Yeah. But we're gonna probably be doing something like this every. Yeah, we'll just keep you guys updated. Uh, and Mike's gonna tell that story he didn't tell today about Oakland. Oh I yeah. If you want to know, if you guys want to, <laughs> yeah. If you got in this far into the commentary, <laughs> then let me know you want to hear about One Oakland. One person is enough. <laughs> yeah. If you just got this far into the commentary, let me know you want to hear about Oakland. Okay. Yeah, Good. it can't be one of our cousins or anything. It has mm. to be <laughs> someone yeah. else. But yes, yeah, okay. All right, man. That's it. Yeah. Peace. Peace out, guys. Eighty K.